Uh, the first question that students typically ask regarding summer abroad programs in the study of law is why should I study abroad at all? And the answer to that uh, begins with what is the nature of legal practice today? Whereas study abroad or international law or uh, comparative law formerly were boutique areas of practice for specialists, it's part of the everyday lawyer's uh, needs and practice skill set today to know something about foreign legal culture and international legal culture. That is so much so the case that the American Bar Association and the American Association of Law Schools uh, has created recommendations and resolutions to encourage law schools to include those types of study in the domestic curriculum. There's lots of work to be done that involves something outside the American border. I chose the European Law Program because I've always been interested in Europe. Um, you got to see three different amazing parts of Europe throughout the program. We got to study corporate law, international law, uh, we did a little bit of intellectual property while we were there, and then with the externship I knew I'd be exposed to different types of law there. So I thought all this exposure would help me kind of see what types of law I was interested in. So when I came back for my second and third year, I knew what sorts of courses I might want to focus in. University of Cologne is very well known in Germany. It's a very prestigious law school there. So I was very fortunate and um, grateful to be studying with these excellent professors. The classes would be in the mornings, so you would go have your course load and your material already taken care of, and then by the afternoon you were able to go exploring. The fact that I was able to get credits that were already ABA approved through Duquesne while exploring Europe was a wonderful opportunity. I thought that the courses offered in Ireland were really interesting. We did human rights law, we did European Union law, and alternate dispute resolution. The professors were great, and we were able to talk to a solicitor um, who explained the differences between American courts and courts in Ireland. And then we were able to sit in on trials in the courthouse. We went and we spent a week in Belfast uh, at Queen's University there. And then we spent two in Dublin studying different areas of the law. And throughout the whole time, it was just really a way to get a sense of how things work abroad. You know, there's a whole lot of different legal systems out there in the world, and there's going to be a point in your career where you're going to need to know how it works in a different jurisdiction. So being able to go abroad and experience that firsthand was really exciting. I studied abroad uh, after my second year in law school. Duquesne had the oldest program that goes to uh, China and I decided to take the challenge. China is where the global market is emerging. That's where you want to be. And what better way to see that than seeing it firsthand? It was one of the best decisions I've ever made. As a law student, I found it extremely beneficial to visit a country like China, one that is so different than ours, and learn from Chinese legal professors. It was interesting to hear their viewpoints and how much similarities are actually existing between our legal system and theirs. What really attracts employers is having someone work for their firm or their company that has an open view of how the legal system works and that's really an asset that employers are valuing nowadays. Going to China, it's an experience that I'll never forget. 